Okay, I'm going to do my very best today um, to explain the details about my experiences with taking the borax along with other minerals that assist the borax and how it's been a miracle in my life. I would have to say that borax is, uh, um, if I had to title it, it would be like the borax miracle. Um, because uh, of how it's impacted my life. For many years, um, since when I was around 20 years old, I've had serious uh, joint and knee uh, problems, uh, arthritis conditions, and uh, I think it was in when I was 25 years old I had my first operation um, to try and remove bone spurs, and it was bone on bone, and it was uh, after that operation I would not go back to do the other knee and I decided I'd do everything possible to uh, take care of my joints in a way that was more natural. I didn't want to go under the knife again. I didn't. I felt like there, there had to be something there. I mean I use um, MSM, glucosamine, and chondroitin and I'm a runner and actually as I ran and used the different things with it, um, the natural things I used, uh, sulfurs, MSMs, this is sulfur, um, and shark cartilage was a wonderful avenue as well, and these kind of things, and gelatin, gelatin was, is known to help build your joints back, um, and then I use a lot of ibuprofen, um, a lot of it over the years, especially as I was running, and as I ran more, I built up that uh, endurance and pretty soon I was lo running long distances but as soon as I quit it deteriorates right back really fast so anyway that's my past um, I've had shoulder problems from uh, tearing uh, some of the ligaments in there and then it recalcifying and as I got older I started to calcify up so what happens is you get calcification and you call it old age well it's not old age not what I experienced. Now this video is about my experience and I'm sharing it with you so that you can glean from it. That was a little bit of my background. I could go on more and more but let's just leave it at that and then I'll move forward with it. Um, I first learned about borax as I one thing led to the next and there's a PDF version of it um, and it is by Walter Last was the one who uh, uh, titled this, and it's a medical research. It's medically researched. It's a safe method um, to use. Borax is utilized by your uh, body um, throughout the bones or boron in the bones. Borax is, is the, the natural element. It's, it's, it's mined in two places, mainly two places in the world. It's California and Turkey, and I believe there's some in South America somewhere. But Turkey is what's been used for many, many, many years. Um, and then here in the United States, borax um, is mined in California and 20 mule team, and it's just a pure product out of the ground. And it came from the uh, the the seas. I, I don't know if it was an inland sea or the uplift of the of the terrain created pockets where it evaporated down, and then you have uh, what was called a sodium borate, and there's a tetra. I can't remember the name of it. it there's a couple of official names, but I'll just go with sodium borate. Um, and it is a elemental version of borax, but it's substantially less concentrate, and it's in its natural form as the bed dried up um, and left sodium borate. It's mined, and it's used for lots of different products. Great products, by the way, and I should probably make some really cool videos of how we've used it over years and years and years. But anyway, right here, if we take a look at this, um, in this article, and it goes through the medical research behind it and the findings. There's a there's two four glands that are behind your thyroid, and one of them the glands are called the parathyroid glands, and they are what is mainly they produce a parathyroid hormone, and when you're deficient in boron, um, 
in the concentrates, as far as I understand um, from what I've read, um, and then the medical research on it, they say that it has the highest concentrate of boron of any organ in our body, as in the parathyroid. And the parathyroid uh, stabilizes your blood calcium levels. And so if you are low in uh, boron, um, as it's written in the papers, medical papers, when you're low in the boron, it makes your body's blood level and calcium increase. It gets out of whack. And you increase your calcium levels, and it pulls that out of your bones and, and uh, the enamel on your teeth. Bones are the second. You've got your parathyroid glands. They have the highest concentration. And, and then I believe it's your bones and your enamel on your teeth. So as you get low in your boron, your teeth decay and your bones start to deteriorate and osteoporosis and these issues, which I suffered from. Um, and the recommended dose on boron is, and you can take it in two different methods, and, and I'm going to put the PDF file, so everything that I'm talking about underneath it, I can't possibly cover everything in this video or it would be just too lengthy, and I'm going to, I hope I'm going to fast enough, I don't want to repeat myself, so I'm hoping that I give you enough information so that you're well aware, but refer back to this information, and again, this is not, I am not um, I would say seek your doctor's uh, input on it. I'm giving you my experience. I am not recommending that anybody do this without first going through their medical providers and whoever they are seeing professionally for that because I'm not trained to diagnose nor will I, but I will provide my experience because it's an amazing because it's amazing to me, it's changed my life. Okay, so back onto this, and now that I've done a slight glitch with uh, my video, <laughs> and um, I just got through my disclaimer. Um, I hope my batteries went dead and things shut down on me. Um, and my makeshift stuff that I have sitting here, my kitchen is a mess, and I had a goal of uh, putting this together over the Christmas break here, and and so I'm trying to fulfill that. I know it's not perfect. I'm just going to wing it. It's going to benefit all of you guys. Um, if it has even a piece of the effect of what it did for me, it's absolutely miraculous what it can do for us. Okay, so I got through my disclaimer. Seek any kind of medical professional advice before doing it. Um, uh, you know, keep out of reach of children once you make the solution. Keep this out of the reach of children. That's just recommended on the package, so I will also say that. Um, again, it's a trace mineral, and so we take very small amounts. That's the whole key here. So I'm going to get into this and get detail on it. You could take boron, and this comes in a 3 milligram. Uh, this just happens to be the one that, that I chose um, to, to show you, and it's a boron, three milligrams. I don't use it. I use it natural form. Um, and again, the PDF file I'll ex will explain more about that. Um, this is just pure, right out of the mine. And so it is a pure form of borax. Okay, here is how I mix mine up. This is how it talks about it, so you get the right dose. So three milligrams is the dose that you're at. So it's a controlled dose, okay? So you make a concentrate with the borax, say. So I have this out. I've showed you this is the 20 mule team. You can buy it um, in the soap aisle. Um, that's laundry detergent, bathrooms, kitchens, baths. It's very good for baths. In fact, it used to really hit that one heavily because it's very good. You can transdermally soak this up, which is what we do as well, as well along with your magnesium, which you need to have with this for it to, to work need to have magnesium um, because the magnesium works to get the calcium out of the wrong areas because um, I didn't quite explain that but when your parathyroid is low and you have high levels of calcium in your blood it starts to deposit that in areas that it's not intended to deposit it pulls it out of your 
my, uh, out of your uh, bones and your teeth, which they deteriorate, bones deteriorate further um, if you don't have your parathyroids or really dysfunctioning. And to get it to go back into the bones, you need what your body requires because it's in your body. Um, the borax, I mean, the boron, as in your bones, healthy bones, strong bones, it strengthens your bone density. Okay, so I'm going to move this out of the way. I'm going to set that there. This is where I put it, and I have a little label there, and I keep that out of, oh, sorry, there's the big one. I just cut it out of the box. Okay, so this is what I use. And I don't want to forget about the magnesium relationship, but let's first get into this right here. Okay, it is one teaspoon, you know, a, a slightly mounted teaspoon. I think it's, uh, what, five to six grams of the borax. So you don't need much. And this is your concentrate. You are not taking this and it's concentrate. So we would go like this. Just a little bit of a round in there, five to six grams of the borax. And you're putting it into a liter. Now this is very close to a liter. This is a quart. And they're very close. So I'm just using this. And I pour it in there. Now you can mix this in with other things. Oh, and by the way, this is a well used substance. Borax um, is uh, in years ago those of you who used to go, oh, say, like, I remember going to uh, junkyards, and in their bathroom they had that little, that little soap, um, and it was, uh, I'm trying to think of what it was called. Anyway, the soap was a powdered soap. Borax. Borax is wonderful. Good for your joints. So when you use it as a soap, in conjunction with uh, other things, and I can get into that. I can actually make some neat videos of how I use it. So anyway, here's that. Okay, one teaspoon. A teaspoon per quart. Okay, it's really a teaspoon per liter. Gives you the exact amount. Okay, so one teaspoon per liter. And you got to shake it, and it, it, it dissolves pretty good. I just use this lid because it's easy. I can pull it off. This is my concentrate. Now, I use water in here, good clean water. I happen to have a reverse osmosis, which is it's, it's good enough. And for my water, it's a good clean water anyway, but I also run it through this. It's like, it's like distilled water, it's similar to it. it, has a little bit of mineral content. Not much after it's been reverse osmosis. So then what happens is in my, you know, the real reality, if you get distilled water and put it in there, which is a great way to do it. I just use my reverse osmosis. Some people just use good clean water, and that's fine too. I use it because it suspends the mineral into the water. If you're familiar with what distilled water does, it's, uh, it's what evaporates and comes down, say like rain, and it's distilled, it's steam distilled. And Okay, so there's my concentrate. There's a little bit floating around down there. It takes you, oh, you do this a couple times through the day, and it's, it's all suspended into the into the into the uh, water. Okay, so there's my concentrate. This is what you use with your concentrate. Now we've got that. That's the first step. So it's not a teaspoon that you drink. That's this is your concentrate that you're making with one teaspoon into that quart. I know I've repeated myself a few times intentionally. Okay, because I do know that that's a, if you read the PDF file that I'm going to provide down at the bottom, it's very clear in there. But I'm making it clear in this as well. And this has been my experience, okay? All right, so when it's in its concentrate, if you take the equivalent of three milligrams, which is you can take that uh, servings, you can take a couple of those, and that's just, just great. Okay, so some people prefer that. Say, borax. Borax is great. It's, a, it's in its natural form. Okay, so if I take this, and this is about, 
is equivalent to three milligrams. Okay, so it's in its it's a very simple process, very simple. Okay, so you can take that, and I just use this as simple. And then if you get to a point, you can just figure out what's in the little swig and do it that way if you choose to do that. Initially, that's what I did. I won't do that with this. I want it to be diagnosed uh, or a, a specific amount. And this gives you a specific amount. For the video, this is how I'm doing it. Okay? So let me just double check. I wrote a quick note in here. Oh, and keep this out of reach of children. It's got a... I don't know if you tasted it. It was... It, it's got a little bit of a taste. No big deal. Not much. Not much. That's a constant. This is... Anyway, so there is your dose. And what's recommended is, one, you start with one. And what happens here as you do this, again, my experience, as I did it, very calcified. And as your joints calcify up, calcium in your joints constricts the muscles. And as it constricts your muscles, you have muscle cramps. Um, and hence, the recommendation when you have muscle cramps, get your Epsom salts. Get your magnesium citrate. You need magnesium. Magnesium. Okay, we're back again. My battery died on me again, so um, I put regular batteries in instead of the rechargeable. Okay, so I apologize if I repeat myself, which I've done a little bit already, but if I don't put this thing together, it's not going to be there for you, so please excuse me on that. Um, okay, so you start with one, which is three milligrams, and you take that, and I, I take it and see how it affects you. For uh, my wife and I, the one, I think I went with a little more than that, I, but I'm going to tell you to take one, start slow, because what happens is, as soon as you start to take this, your fluorides that are in your body, and messing up a lot of the uh, organs in your body, the fluorides, they attach to the iodine receptors and kick your iodine out. Um, this Borax goes hand in glove with iodine, and I'm going to make another video of that because iodine is absolutely essential here. Um, but I'm just going to try and focus on the borax for now. And the borax, what it does is it pulls out the fluorides out of your body and heavy metals. And as it does this, it dumps it into your system. And what's termed a healing crisis they call it a healing crisis. So people will start to um, have a little bit of an upset stomach. Make sure you're drinking enough water. Let me give you a quick example. When you go in and get a, a masseuse, if you go in and you have a deep masseuse and they work your muscles and it busts loose some of the calcium and fluorides and toxins out of your muscles, when you're getting that, you feel dang good. But if you're not drinking enough water, it'll toxify you and you can throw up even after a masseuse gives you a good back rub. This is kind of a similar, that's called a healing crisis because your body's dumping it off. you got to drink a lot of water. So drink a lot of water while you're doing this. It's not a big deal. Who wants any of these toxins anyway? So it's a great way to clean. And this stuff will slough that off. Don't get into the ideology of, oh, I feel yucky. This stuff must be bad. You know, that's what too many people think and then they throw out the uh, baby with the dirty bath water. The real reality of it is you have to understand what it's doing. This is going to take a little bit of research. I'm going to provide a lot of links in here for you. If you really want to heal yourself, this is a, a great way to do it because not you need to have these minerals if you really want to heal yourself. The borax is an antifungal. A lot of our problems are created with funguses and parasites and such. So this is a maintenance test. People who have serious osteoporosis, things like that, they'll take a lot more than this. But you build up slowly and do it in a way and uh, in conjunction with magnesium. you got to have the magnesium in there. It helps clear out the toxins. There's a couple of things. So what I do is, and here's how I do it. You're dealing with 
uh, healing crisis. And when I first started, I can't remember how many days right after, I had a burst of energy because it starts to uh, wake up your organs that have been sleeping with a lot of fluorides and, and especially this, this hormonal gland back here um, that we were talking about, the parathyroid glands. Um, so anyway, as you go along, the detox here, I put, I start with two a day. So, and you can do that in the morning. That's a great way to do it. And initially, you'll get a burst of energy with this, even with one. Okay, so uh, I was going to stick with one, so not the two. Start with one. As you feel, if you don't feel uh, a die-off, everybody's different in their toxin levels and how much it peels off. And if you do it on an empty belly, and if you, there's a lot of factors in there. Okay, so one I do mine, salt. Uh, Dr. Brownstein has a wonderful book. It's called Salt Your Way to Help. And he has some great videos. He's the amazing guru um, that a lot of people refer to. There's a few of them in there, but I'm going to just choose him. And I'll drop some links in here, too, if you want. But I will be making a video. But salt is another thing that helps you detox the fluorides and the things like that. It's called salt loading. Um, it's a great way of doing it. Just, you know, if you get add, it is not processed salt. So Himalayan's a great way. Redmond salt, if you go up and you can get the, uh, the Nordic salt that's hand harvested. Um, there's is another way, and it's a sea salt that is pulled off the sea. But with seas being a little bit toxic, like from Fukushima and things like this, you have to make your own decision on that. I'm using Himalayan right here. I rotate between them. They have 80 plus minerals in them. Our body needs these minerals. And one of the things that, that this, uh, it, it carries out the, the bad stuff out of our body from lack of better, I mean, you got water softeners. You know how the, they peel off the bad stuff and they clean your water to soften it. Salts do. Salt is a wonderful way of doing that and providing us minerals. And more detail, go look up Brownstein, get his book if you want. But salt your way to help. A lot of us are low on this. This is a huge, huge factor. So I put that in there as I'm doing this. And I, I take salt through the day. Um, Brownstein gives some great seminars and explains why the medical research, well, not medical research, but yeah, it's medical research he talks about. But, and uh, many of the doctors will say, oh, don't, don't take the salt. Well, you're talking about sodium chloride, the processed salt. And that is a very different beast than this. It doesn't have minerals in it. Okay, so I put that in there. Salt loading. And then I found for a long time I did the magnesium citrate. Carol Dean will talk about it. Look up that. I will put the links below again. I know that's repeating myself again. But you got to have the magnesium if you really want to work. I use this now. It's a magnesium sulfate. Sulfur and magnesium. So, and it's, it tells you how much to take if you've got uh, constipation. And by the way, you want things loose. Now, you're going to have to decide how much you take. If you want to take it once a day, but you need the magnesium. And I try and take it as much as I can because our bodies are very low in magnesium, generally speaking now. Um, I certainly was. So I just take that pinch and I throw it in there. So I'm doing those main three items, okay? And then I'll, I'll mix it up and with this, which is, I just put my tablespoon in here using this. Mix it up and bon appetit. Now I just that you can hardly even taste any of that, the minerals that are put in there. I don't use this, I put it in there. Some people will want to use that great. That's great. In the um, uh, borax conspiracy, oh, it gets into some good details, and you really need it. It gets all the medical research. I'm hitting the tip of the iceberg with it, and, and, and uh, Mr. Last does a wonderful job with it. Go refer to that. It's great stuff. And then there's what I take. Keep it out of reach of children. Um, all right, so let's see. What did I need to cover in here? 
the low boron makes the parathyroid overactive. Um, let me just okay it. Okay, as it goes along, I didn't talk about this improvement of it. Okay, so what I noticed right off the bat, and it's been steadily, and this takes months. It takes it's. I've been doing this for ten months now, and if, if I gotta refer back to this, but I have to tell you about this. When I first started taking it, about the first week in there, I had a healing crisis, and primarily my knees. That's where a lot of the damage in my shoulder. Um, it started to ache. It was like oh, it was like an achy, and I don't know if it was uh, what the whole deal in there. But when we injure ourselves, and you get inflammation in there. Whenever you have inflammation, you have lack of blood circulation. When you have lack of blood circulation, um, it's been um, I've read articles from doctors who explain this far better than I can. But the lack of circulation makes uh, it's what gives you bone uh, spurs or Maybe that's not the right word, but you get a calcium buildup in those parts. Um, when we first started taking it, um, I had the healing crisis, and my my joints ached in here, that where I'd been had damage. And I had the operation here. I should have had an operation in my shoulder. It was very tight. Hi, buddy. And so I had a healing crisis in my shoulder. Um, incidentally, I mean when I do push-ups. I could only go to the side. I couldn't leverage, put the leverage out like that, and do the the, the push-ups. Um, but as soon as I started taking this and went through that little bit of a healing crisis, it was like a, a week of aches like that, and then the healing crisis went away. Um, after that, um, I had tremendous. My strength came back as it started to decalcify, loosen up my muscles, and then I, you know, initially I didn't take much of the magnesium. Um, and so, uh, when I got the magnesium, it increased, uh, it helped dramatically with the, the cleansing process. But right now, I have absolutely full movement in both shoulders. I don't feel a difference between this shoulder and this shoulder, and this shoulder has always been an issue. Anything that I was doing, and I do a lot of lifting, a lot of physical manual labor, it's gone. Um, my knees, they cleared up. Um, and, it, and that healing crisis uh, lasted just a little bit of time, and every once in a while you'll feel an ache here and there as it's decalcifying. I assume that's what it's doing to my body. But nonetheless, my joints, stronger, my muscles, everything's working better now. Um, no, 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 buddy, don't, don't push on that. Please don't push on that. Um, okay, so I no longer have, um, as of a few weeks back, I can feel, actually today I feel just the teeniest um, tightness in there. But that's pretty much gone. Um, and circulation initially, some of the stuff, and um, if you have any questions, comment, I can definitely tell you what my experience has been. As my circulation increased in my fingers, um, it kind of was almost like when your, uh, your hand goes to sleep and then it tingles as you get your... Uh, um, Nope, no, Alex, Alex, I mean, James, no. um, So it's a tingling in my fingers as it's coming back, uh, the circulation comes back into it. And some people, uh, I know good friends or family, had a little bit of pain in there. Um, again, you just start slow, and you slowly work through this. It's a slow process. If you go with drinking lots of it, yeah, you're going to have a, a die-off. Take the advice that's in the paper and that I'm going to put the PDF to. Slowly work your way up. If you have serious osteoporosis, you might need to have a little bit more as explained in there. But start slow, and then work your way up. And then make sure that you're taking the different minerals as well to support this. Okay, so. Uh, what else? You're, you'll notice some of that. Uh, you can notice all oh, my eyes improved. Um, cataracts in there. It'll start to take some of that away. And of course, you want to do your eye exercises if you've got your uh, vision issues. Um, and exercise with it. 
you start to exercise and you'll find that that assists in the healing dramatically. Um, it's an antifungal, anti-candida. Well, one of the things is I started dreaming vividly and colorful. And, and the pituitary gland, your third eye, um, you start to see things that uh, better, more clear, more crisp, um, you're more insightful. Um, that was my experience. Um, my balance improved, memory, all of a sudden I'd start remembering things from way back. That was like, it's an interesting thing, the whole process. Okay, what else? I think that's pretty much it. Um, oh, the one you're taking a tablespoon of this, I thought that was interesting. One tablespoon of this concentrate here in your water is equivalent to 25 to 30 milligrams of borax. 25 to 30 milligrams, which translates to 3 milligrams of boron, as I explained. And that's pretty much it. I'll leave a lot of links in there. Um, my ability to, oh, one of the things that I was having symptoms of, and I thought it was just old age, is pretty soon you'd, oh, you know, you'd have a little kink in your back or um, in your neck. You'd have, ah, muscle pulls. It's like, what is going on? I think it is old age. It's not old age. For me, it was not old age. It was nutritional deficiencies and calcification. I don't touch calcium. The article explains that. Carolyn Dean, look up her videos, any of them, she'll explain it. Calcium, it constricts your muscles. So if you're taking calcium, and if you're taking the calcium, you've got to be taking that calcium and magnesium combination. But the scientist that came up with that two to one ratio of calcium to magnesium is the minimum. And as we get older, your body needs far more calcium or magnesium to the calcium that you take in. We get it through eating, we get it through our water sources, we get a lot of, and I'm not even going to get into what's good calcium, what's bad calcium, that'd be a whole nother issue. I stopped it because I want it extracted out of my joints, out of the wrong places that it's deposited, that's created what I thought was old age. It's not. Not with me. And I'm just getting more strong, am I youthful, the strength I had, the strength, I, it came back a lot of my strength did. Um, energy levels, sleep better. Now, there's other things to add to this, and I need to make another video because iodine is critical to all of this. And because you should pull off these bad halogens out of the iodine receptors, you got to get the, the, the iodine into those receptors to really heal your organs and make them turn on. Um, that, and some of us have had iodine deficiencies for years. It's a whole nother video. It's been well documented that we are absolutely, um, uh, as a country, we had a epidemic of iodine deficiency. That's why they put iodine into the salt 100, and, 100 some odd years ago, or 100, yeah, 100, not even 100. 1920-something. So anyway, when they started putting that into it it, it, it had such an amazing ramification across the board. And by the way, that was just the minimum to keep off goiters. Now, if you're down by the ocean, the iodine is far, you got gases coming off and the fish to eat, the food sources has more iodine in it down there. As you come up into the mountains, you're going to have different issues. Everybody's different, but that's a different video. Iodine was critical to all of this as well. If this is pulling your fluorides out of the iodine receptors, uh, the bad halogens, your chlorines, fluorides, bromides that are now in, the, in your food sources, they will go and reattach to those iodine receptors. You've got to get the iodine back in there to, to hold in there so that you don't have the, the bad halogens taken back over. This removes a lot of that, and it wakes up your... Uh, your organs, the iodine will just turn that into like turbocharge. Um, anyway, and I'm not going to say that all of this was as a result of uh, the borax or the boron healing because it's more, it's a holistic approach and the iodine was critical in there too. This is just one of my videos, i got to make the others. Anyway, God bless. If you have any questions, I can tell you what my experience has been. And again, as I end this video, 
this is not a, um, I'm not giving you any advice. I'm telling you my experience. If you choose to do it, do it with uh, the blessing of your care provider, whoever they may be, whom they may be. And uh, God bless and good luck as you go through your transformation. Um, take care. God bless.